If you've been watching this channel, you have probably heard of Greg Tech. Greg Tech is a famous Minecraft mod about chemistry and technology, but it has one fatal flaw. The name Greg Tech is made up of 50% Greg and 50% Tech. This is not enough tech. So, an insane Polish furry called Technist decided to take matters into his own hands. This is Tech Tech. Tech Tech improves the tech aspect of Greg Tech by effectively doubling the amount of tech in the mod. But what does this mod add? Quantum physics. Let me explain. Greg Tech New Horizons is famous for being a mod pack that goes through all the stages of technology, from the primitive age, to various types of electricity, and eventually, to space. But at some point, you run out of real life tech, so you start inventing new stuff. Technus invented the research station. It's a multi-block machine that researches recipes for end-game items, to be crafted in the assembly line, because you have to research how to make a tier 11 UHV mainframe before actually making it. The research station has to be hooked up to a quantum computer so that it can do some of that funny futuristic research. After hooking it up, the research station will receive computation from the quantum computer, but working with a quantum computer is not easy. It takes no less than 2000 words from the Greg Tech New Horizons wiki to explain how. After setting up a quantum computer and resolving any issues with the maintenance hatch, you have to set up the Schrodinger uncertainty matrix. The way to do this legit is really complicated, so the Greg Tech New Horizons wiki literally asks that you click random buttons. Then, you have to build the gaming computer by inserting any one of the five professional gaming setups listed in the wiki, and there's your quantum computer. If all of this sounds complicated, then try thinking about how they even managed to figure out how this works. In Greg Tech New Horizons, once you get far enough in the game, there's no more guides on the wiki, because no one bothers to actually write them for the three people that reach Ultimate Among Us Voltage 5. So. Some of the top players learn to read the Java programming language and get their information right from the game's code. Tech Tech is always considered as some kind of a weird mod in the GTNH community. Most of the community despises Tech Tech, but Tech Tech doesn't only add bullshit hard things to the game, it has some nice quality of life features, like the Tesla Tower which is a machine that transfers energy wirelessly to other parts of the base. The Tesla tower will transmit electricity to Tesla transceivers, which can be filled with batteries, or Tesla coil covers, that can be installed on a machine. For some reason, this cock-shaped Wi-Fi router requires helium plasma to function. It also adds lasers which are an end-game way to transport energy around your gigafactory. Lasers can transport insanely high amounts of power, but they can only go in straight lines, and you need to make a transformer to transform laser energy into normal electricity. Some machines can support laser energy using a laser energy hatch, though. It also adds an optical fiber system for transporting data around your base, for when you need your quantum computers to be linked up. Tech Tech planned to add the black hole generator, which was supposed to be the final generator in Greg Tech New Horizons. It looks absolutely huge. Sadly, it was not finished, but somehow it got replaced by even more stupid looking machines, like the Eye of Harmony. This machine uses the power of an entire simulated universe to get nearly infinite amount of materials, but you have to run it for 100 straight hours for it to output them. The mod has ton of features which are not very well documented in the wiki, so I can't really explain how they work. I don't feel like spending 5000 hours on Greg Tech New Horizons to make the Ascenta Quantizer legitimately. Which is a machine that literally transforms magic into matter. And who knows what the Elemental Scanner, or the Parameterizer, or the Quantum Wormhole Generator do. This is truly mental illness. And that's it for Greg Tech New Horizons' Tech Tech mod. It's funny to see what the average Polish schizophrenic man can do once he's been given some coding tools. Thanks to the Greg Tech New Horizons wiki for providing the information for this special research operation. And thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.